draining these last two pits. Um, come to the conclusion that that pit right there, this one, is the lowest pit. And that uh, when Popeye and the crew were digging the pits, that optical illusion there, because the road starts to gradually go uphill towards the plateau there, they were gradually, the bottoms of the pits were gradually getting higher, and uh, the water, uh, it's overtopping down in some of those rows, rows down there, and these pits aren't even full. I think this is the either that one or this one are the lowest pits and then they gradually start to go uphill because I siphoned from this pit well I siphoned from this pit into this pit and when it quit siphoning this pit had about four inches of water in it so we filled up this pit with water from the well and siphoned into this one. There was eight inches of water in this one after we had filled it, but it would only fill this one to about four inches. So the height increase was about four inches per pit. And the same thing is happening here. I've had them go down another two inches in that last pit there, but I can tell just by looking that the top of this water is about even with the bottom of that pit. So this one's going to have to go down about another six inches and both of these pits are going to have to go down about another six inches. And we may have to just undo one side of this tarp and dig these pits deeper. I've come too far and done too much work on these to have them not work properly. I'm not going to put individual pumps in these pits. They have to drain one into the one into another, like a terrace, and it has to be that way. So, whatever we have to do, if we have to take one side of this pit loose and roll the tarp back halfway, dig down, reattach it unattach it from the other side, roll it back, dig down and then reattach it. If we have to do that, that's what we have to do. I'm going to drain these two pits here on the end. Well, not the, that last pit I'm going to leave for now. This, these two pits here I'm draining. And I'm going to set up the siphons again. There's actually a siphon going into this one down on this end. I'm going to see if it's actually working. They've been losing... The siphon has, has been losing it periodically. Obviously got a dog fight going on somewhere. I guess he'll get it figured out. Check my weight here. Yes, it is siphoning. I can see the I can see the new muddy water flowing in there. Well, this one actually is working. Silly me. Uh, yeah, because because I'm siphoning it out down on that end, it's flowing into this one. So it's working up to this point, up to this pit. I 
I might just leave that siphon going all night. I'll come back down about 11 o'clock and see how things are doing. I'm desperate to cycle this water through and get it exchanged. This pit here is looking so-so. The Azola in this one's dying. It's dying in this one. Dying in that one. Dying in that one. Dying in this one. Almost all the pits it's dying in. I've got to get this water exchanged. Some are worse than others. I ran the pump this morning before we went to get fish food. And I just put gas in it, about what I figure it would need. And then run out of gas before the well went dry. And I've pretty much done the same thing here. This pit's doing okay. This one's not. Almost all the azola has gone out of this pit, but I think it's because it has so many fish in it. Would be my guess. There are quite a few. I want to get these cycled through. I timed what I timed the amount of time that it would take to fill up one pit yesterday, and it's about 20 minutes. That pump running about 20 minutes, 25 minutes on some of the longer rows maybe uh, to fill up one of these pits. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 pits right now. So 23 times 25, let's say. Uh, 475 minutes and then divide that by 60. About eight hours. So that pump needs to run about eight hours to totally exchange this water. So an hour in the morning and an hour in the evening, uh, theoretically I could cycle through all this water in three days. So after about four days, I'm going to put an extension. After four days, I'm going to I'm, I'm going to cut it back to. Uh, running the pump into these pits once a day and the other day I'm gonna run it into the flappy pond because I was looking at it today and it looked sad indeed it's really fallen it rained last night at some time I got up I didn't get up but I woke up so I knew it was raining and I asked Tati how long it had rained and he said about 20 minutes so basically enough to sort of water the garden for a couple days, but that's about it. Yeah, this pond is way down again. So I'm going to start watering it again. Looks like we got a bunch of that water lettuce starting again down there. Got to get that out. It's hard to get it all. So I'm going to stick around down here and babysit this pump. What did those guys do? 
happiest all I've ever seen. All this dirt we had up here on this embankment, they shoveled off. So before it rains again, we've got to bring a bunch of dirt up here and repair this dike. This is fine in here, as you probably can't tell on camera, but it's about a six inch lip and that'll be plenty. But right there, it's just, it'll drain right off into these Zola pits and that's what I don't want. So from the looks of things, we basically have two producing Azola pits and none of the rest of them are producing. All the rest of them are dying off. So that means it's going to take about two weeks after the water exchange just taking Azola out of the pits that are producing and putting it in the pits that are not producing. It'll take about that long to get them going again. You can see that water is just murky and nasty looking. Yeah, it's going to take a little while. Well, that's where we're at on the Azola pits. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.